The Monerotopia guest segment is sponsored by Cake Wallet. Store, send, receive, and exchange your Monero and Bitcoin safely on iOS and Android too. Cake Wallet is open source, and you always control your own keys. All right. Oh, wait. We got Neil list up. Hello, everyone. Okay. Uh, wait. Uh, <laughs> Tux, are we, br- are we bringing up Tech Leak? Are you going to at the same time? It's up to you. Uh, let's 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 first because didn't Tech Leak said say he has to go or Neil is who's who has to run in forty minutes? Me. Oh, okay. Um, all right, let's. Uh, all right, let's let's because I want I want to I want to have Tech Leak up here with before Body uh, hits the road too. What's going on, Nihilist? What do you got? Uh, hello, everyone. So um, I'm basically a nerd out there. Uh, I I am running a blog that uh, that runs basically uh, you know tutorials um, <clears throat> pertaining to privacy, anonymity, self uh, self hosting, anonymity, all that all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, so Tux uh, mentioned that uh, I could uh, present the Havino Dex, um, you know, the new software that's uh, been going on lately. Uh, oh yeah, fantastic. This, yeah. So um, wh- first, I want to explain why this is important. If you don't mind, I'm gonna share my screen. Now. Give me a second. <clears throat> Let's see if this works. All right. Uh, so uh, first of all, uh, when people are seeking privacy, uh, they want to purchase Monero, right? Uh, for that, I am actively recommending people check on this site, kyc.notme. Uh, this is a place where, yeah, this is a place where you can find uh, exchanges uh, and. Uh, for instance, uh, the most popular one that I was using for Monero, uh, I was using it also for Fiat, which was uh, local Monero before that. Mm, no longer. And, uh, yeah, so it's no longer there. And uh, the only options out there, uh, as for this website, are BISC and RoboSats. Uh, thing is, they don't uh, provide a direct uh transaction from fiat to monero that's the main issue here so now that we have this in mind i want to bring your intention to uh havino now why, uh, why isn't ha- havino on K- kyc dot uh, kyc me not uh it's uh currently yeah it's currently a pending review let me show you all right yeah, Sweet. so basically, Havino is not publicly released, but uh, it's uh, currently on version 1.04. So we can already do uh, mainnet, tra- mainnet transactions there. So, yeah. Uh, all right. So why I have been uh, solicited as a guest is because I wrote a tutorial on how to use this. Uh, now, just explain you know, explain real quick, because I saw some confusion. Like, there were multiple implementations, like, that were launched this week, like different different groups launched yeah, launched so, the software on their own. So basically, uh, you have uh, let me bring it up. Com way to access. All right. So uh, give me just a second. Uh, all right. So uh, you have uh, Havino. It is publicly uh, the code is open source, right? Uh, it's mm-hmm. published on GitHub. Uh, the official uh, repository is Havino Dex slash Havino. And uh, yeah, the main developer is Woodzer. Shout outs to him. Uh, that's just, where uh, the, it is. Yeah, D- D- DMing with him. And he's, he said to mention uh, there's currently 16 offers on the books 52.26 XMR, 10 trades. Yep. Very exciting. Go ahead. So, yeah, uh, basically, um, the goal is. For, for you to run Havino as a administrator, it is to first clone the repo and uh, to run a Havino network, basically. And the first, uh, when one of the first uh, Havino networks out there was Rito. So yeah, there it is. People can access it on GitHub as well. And uh, basically they are running the Havino network, one of the Havino networks out there. 
And uh, just to explain quickly how the structure of uh, having a network is, here you go. So uh, I didn't include this in my tutorial yet, but uh, yeah, there it is. You have having a network um, administrators and you have uh, servers and uh, having no DEX seed nodes. And uh, on the server side, basically, the more seed nodes you have, the more resilient the network is to potential takedowns. As, you, as we all know, centralized exchanges have uh, this uh, tendency of being taken down, uh, whether uh, it is legally done or uh, morally questionably done, like for local Monero. And uh, the decentralization is important here because you have uh, you have peers, let's say Bob, Alice, and Charlie. Um, they run the Havino Dex client on their net or on their laptops, and uh, they could be a seed node, they could be uh, an arbitrator, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, so if you guys want, I can show you uh, <coughs> a quick demo of the of the software. Yeah, yeah, please do, please do. So it's how we, how would you say it, it's different in any way from BISC? Uh, there's a FAQ on uh, on this. Let me show you. I'm not affiliated with, with Havino in any way, by the way. I'm just a very big fan on their technology. Mm -hmm. So here you go. You go on the FAQ um, FAQ on the official website Havino.exchange. You go on, uh, where is it? Key differences compared to BISC. So Havino is uh, privacy focused. Uh, it's not um, like BISC where, it, where the main currency is Bitcoin. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. so due to that, uh, BISC is not uh, like uh, privacy focused. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Have you know is simpler? Have you know is cheaper? Have you know is faster? You know, you know, um, Monero transactions are validated faster on the mm -hmm. network than, than Bitcoin. You know, uh, so but the, yeah. this, the, the architecture is, is the same. The concept is the same, right? In terms of yeah, the, uh, how the network I'm, is structured or I'm not sure on that, but, uh, I, I, yeah, it should be relatively similar. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. But in this and obviously case, the, the have, primary difference is it's Monero based as opposed to being Bitcoin based, which yeah. just adds a whole layer of privacy between obviously everybody's transactions. Yeah, exactly. That's the reason it was it was actually forked from BISC in the first place. But yeah, yeah it took some it took a lot of time to get developed, and uh, now it's reaching maturity, I think. And yeah, that's this is the architecture here. Very exciting. Yeah. So the the. This instance that's running right now, what is it called? Retrero or something or whatever it is. It's uh, Rito, yeah, Rito. So other people can obviously spark up instances as well, but obviously ideally you'd only want to see like one, right? So that you get the network effect going, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. That, that's the thing I was discussing on the Have Note chat a few, few days ago. Like um, mm -hmm. the reason for multiple networks to exist is uh, well for decentralization. You know, you don't mm -hmm. want one entity to run uh, everything. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, the reason is, uh, suppose the Havino Rito uh, administrators get somehow sent to jail. You know, I don't want that. But suppose mm -hmm. they do. Mm -hmm. uh, no one runs the Havino Rito network anymore, and uh, all that market is gone uh, apparently from their hands. So mm -hmm. someone, so the the market is still up to grabs, up for grabs, uh, to, for another having no network uh, administrators and new network, you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So well, do we know who's running Havino Rito? Because I saw some like concerns about okay, like we don't really know who's even running this this Rito network of Havino. I guess people I want, want to maintain to... their anonymity. Anybody that runs yes. the, the networks, right? I mean, yeah, I yeah, yeah. that's understandable for sure. Um, yeah. But I mean, I would advise it. I would, I would definitely fun. advise. I wouldn't advise running it in a non-anonymous way, right? Yeah, I mean, I uh, think uh, I think the goal here is for them to retain their anonymity because they don't want mm -hmm. to be taken down. You know. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> uh, have you yeah, we've also you make a trade on it so far. Uh, yeah, I succeeded in making a trade. Oh, uh, fantastic. I can show and so, you. so how how easy is it to to kind of get up and running and use? Is it is it still kind of uh, early adopter ish, or it's it's all there and, and get a binary works. now? Yeah, it's early adopter maybe. But uh, okay. for example, on the Havino uh, Rito 
let me just bring it up again. Yeah, I, sorry, I should have prepared better. <laughs> there we go. So we're on the uh, having a Rito uh, repository here. Mm -hmm. So you can see all the open source code. All right, if you want to check for spyware, feel free to do it. Then you go on actions. Mm -hmm. This is where the code is built in GitHub. You go on the latest one. And here you scroll down. Scroll down. And there you have the installer. So it's basically a zip file that contains mm -hmm. a, uh, for, for Ubuntu, I mean, for Ubuntu, you have uh, the .deb uh, package that you install. Uh, for Windows users, you have the uh, executable file. For macOS, I don't know how, I think it's a .pkg file. But yeah, mm -hmm. you can install it on macOS, Linux, Windows. And uh, once you install it, mm -hmm. uh, you basically have it like this. So that's the Havino uh, software. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And uh, uh, by default, you are put on this page here. OK. And yeah, you can see uh, the market with all the transactions. See if you can make it done. full. If you can make it full screen, the uh, yeah, sure. yeah, sweet. So let's say you are a having a user that wants to uh, buy some Monero, right? Mm -hmm. You go on the buy section, and uh, here you have a few offers that have been Beautiful. made by peers like uh, Alice and Bob, mm -hmm. and uh, they uh, accept uh, different uh, payment methods like pay by mail. I think that's the most common one that was on local Monero. And uh, I definitely recommend people doing that. Uh, you can do face-to-face, -face, uh, you know, face-to-face uh, -face transactions, uh, you know, all that good stuff. If you want to sell Monero, uh, let me cancel that. You go here and there you have also a, a place to uh, basically uh, create offers to sell Monero. Now, are, uh, is anybody doing crypto to Monero? Everybody's doing cash to Monero right now? Uh, you can do Monero for fiat. Uh, okay. You can oh, do, you can Bitcoin. do Bitcoin, okay. Bitcoin for XMR, yeah. Okay. And you okay. can do other. I didn't check that, actually. But uh, you can select all the different uh, currencies mm -hmm. and the uh, payment methods, yeah. How what kind of trade arbitrator? What kind of trade did you do? So uh, to test, uh, I will just show everyone. Um, so uh, I made this blog post. Uh, feel free to check it out. Uh, I made a face-to-face, -face, um, how to say, face-to-face -face, uh, transaction in person. Uh, oh. We were simulating uh, like uh, a face-to-face -face transaction in Berlin. You know. Uh, so first, you would need to basically create uh, your account here in this space. You select uh, traditional currency accounts. You create your account face to face person in Berlin. This, this is just mm -hmm. uh, easy, an easy example, you know, to make a quick trade, you know. Right, right. So yeah, I created it here. But you could also do like uh, bank transfer or cash by mail. This is also mm -hmm. a type of account that you can create here. Right. Once it's created, you go on the buy section. You create an offer to buy XMR, and then you get listed here. And um, see, there, there's no unlike local Monero big difference mm -hmm. there's no uh, reputation system meaning uh, oh, wow. by default if there was no uh, if there were no uh, protection mechanisms like there, there actually is if there was not this uh, you know people would scam each other you know but uh, I'm not going to create one now but um, <clears throat> on the blog post I made basically you create your account right then you create the offer here mm -hmm. uh, face to face per in person blah 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 you set the amount of uh, xmr you want to buy let's say uh, point or point one uh, you can select the percentage below market price and then it's it shows you uh, you have to you you want you want to spend 12 euros basically to buy a point one uh, xmr mm -hmm. and then uh, basically here you have uh, a uh, two slash three multi-sig mm -hmm. uh, so you are Bob, right? You want to buy Monero for cash in person. And uh, Alice wants to sell Monero for cash in person. And uh, basically, if you if you try to scam uh, Alice, there will be a, a Rito, um, the Havino Rito Network Administrator, 
uh, arbitrator, I mean, sorry, that can step in and decide who's in the right in case if there is a conflict, you know? Mm -hmm. So uh, the thing is, uh, at first, when you create your offer, you need to basically fund your offer, you know, just like in BISC, I think. And uh, basically, the incentive here is you fund your offer, you have some Monero in there, and uh, if you were to try and scam Alice, well, you are at risk of losing that Monero. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the key takeaway here is both Alice and you have to put a security deposit. And if you try to scam each other, well, someone's going to lose Monero. And that's the... Oh, so so both both the buyer and the seller put up Monero? Yeah. So here in this case, Bob puts some Monero for the trade and Alice does the same. Mm, okay. Yeah, because yeah, so I'm, th I'm thinking it in, in terms of like XMR Bazaar, right, Tux? The way we're doing it. Mm -hmm. It's it's interesting the way. So it's both sides put up Monero. Yeah. Okay. And then once the... So like Bob and Alice fund the offer, then the trade is created. So you send your, uh, your Monero there. It's a bit of a chicken and egg problem, you know, like uh, Bob does not have Monero at first, but he wants to buy Monero and to do so, he mm -hmm. needs to put Monero for the trade. Right. That's the same in BISC actually. So yeah. Uh, we, I mean, we even really even, have, even uh, if Bob, even if Bob didn't put up Monero, wouldn't, couldn't it still kind of uh, work? So it's what well, you'd, yeah, you'd have possible. the person that's looking to spend the Monero would put it into the, mul into the multi-sig, right? Into the, into escrow with the yeah. arbitrator right and then they mm -hmm. supposedly meet up and then the person with ca cash would be like claim like hey I, I paid them cash but they never they never you know now i'm ready to get the monero released mm -hmm. and then if she tries to scam and says no he never gave me cash then that person would have to prove to the um arbitrator that mm -hmm. you know here's proof that i gave the, that i gave the money whatever yeah, and then the yeah. arbitrator would then make a decision which should the monero go back to yeah to alice or should it be released to bob yeah exactly um but thing is on face to face it's a bit special because uh it's hard to prove that uh, you are being scammed however uh in one of my future future tutorials uh that will come up soon uh, mm -hmm. i will showcase a um a conflict uh so uh let me first finish. so let just uh, quick yeah. question so in in bitcoin so in bitcoin to monero trades so not cash mm -hmm. to monero does mm -hmm. the multi-sig does the escrow work the same i think it's different i think it's a um just one side. say it's a crypto swap yeah so uh there's the how do you say again um uh the protocol that allows uh, you to trade bitcoin for monero um, atomic, swap? Oh, atomic swap yeah i think atomic swap is already in Havino. so on that oh, side really? it's got okay. yeah I, I think it's already there i need to confirm but yeah okay in any way you 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 fund your offer then the trade is uh, opened you can also chat with the other peer very important mm -hmm. and then you can discuss okay let's meet up at berlin blah 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 uh, i will give you your cash and then uh once, uh, let's say Alice also funded the trade, you know, both parties have funded the trade, you have um, <clears throat> a notification here. Uh, then it says, okay, you have to go and meet up with the person to pay uh, your 12 euros, blah, 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 you do it. And then you claim that the payment has been sent, same as uh, on local Monero, you know, you say that you have paid, you declare that you have paid. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it's for Alice to claim to, to basically confirm if uh, she has received payment or not, you know. Mm -hmm. And then uh, once she confirms that she has uh, received the uh, Monero, it mm -hmm. will show up uh, on your Havino, uh, Havino Monero wallet, yeah. And then it will show us spending and then to be available for you to spend. And if you want, you can uh, withdraw it to your other uh, wallet. So it's all good here. How do you select mm -hmm. an arbitrator? Uh, when I when I attempt to yeah. initiate any um, of the trades, it says no arbitrators available or the arbitrator signature is invalid. 
Uh, yeah, I think you need to open an issue on the GitHub. So yeah, I expect some bugs here and there. You know, it's not officially released again. <laughs> it's like a public beta currently. Um, yeah. Uh, so definitely uh, chat about it on uh, the Havino it's Matrix chat. And do, do the the arbitrators, the mediators, they get paid? They they make a transaction fee? Yeah, they on Havino Rito they have a. 0.06 uh, fee, 0.6 fee, uh, percent. So that's part of the transaction. That's part of the multi-sig. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Or they get and, paid uh, out separately. Uh, let me just show you quickly. That's an example of a trade that I will showcase mm -hmm. in my future tutorial. Uh, in this case, um, uh, we are Bob, and uh, we want to uh, scam Alice. Uh, sorry, we are Alice and Bob wants to scam us. So uh, this is a trade, uh, all right? A trade that I want to buy um, 0.2 uh, XMR for uh, 25 euros in Amazon e-gift card. Mm -hmm. But uh, basically in this case, Bob has sent me an, an invalid uh, Amazon code, you know? Mm -hmm. So uh, then uh, we shout and uh, it's... Uh, it's, it's a mess, it's not acceptable, blah, blah, blah. And then we want to basically open a uh, dispute with Bob. Mm -hmm. So uh, we cannot do it immediately. We have to wait for the trade to expire in uh, 20, 24 hours, basically. It's the max time for, uh, for this kind of trade. And after that, which I will showcase in my future tutorial, there will be an arbitrator that steps in to say, okay, who's in the right, who's in the wrong? And in this case, clearly Bob is in the wrong, and I will get the security deposit that he deposited, and uh, as it as like um, to punish him basically, he will not get mm -hmm. his Monero back, you know. Because <clears throat> mm -hmm. because Bob had to put up Monero as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so so Alice gets all her Monero back, and then Bob gets punished and gets his Monero taken away. Yeah, exactly. Very yeah, cool, so man. That. Very cool. Um, actually, very similar to how XMR Bazaar is functioning, right, Tux? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, primary primary difference is uh, Havino actually is decentralized software that's running, so anybody can run mm -hmm. the client. So there's, you know, you can't take down Havino. You can't take down the app itself. Well, um, you, the the thing is, um, server side, there needs to be as many seed nodes as possible. You know. If uh, if there are only two C nodes that are being run and all of, both of them are taken down, yeah, well, it's over, you know. But mm -hmm. if you have let's say twenty, oh, it's gonna be really hard to take down, you know. And on the client side, the more peers you are, there's Bob, Alice, Charlie, blah blah blah, whoever. The bigger there is, the more diversity you will see on the market on this Havino network. And that's where I think people need to realize. You guys need to move out from centralized exchanges. You need to get on there, run the net, run the market on your laptop. No need for a server. No need for a uh, you know. No need for a um, <clears throat> website where you can buy your Monero. Download it. Run it on your la on your laptop. I think it's very important. Everyone moves there. Like uh, <laughs> it's 100%. the future. I know. Everybody should start using. You know, everybody that that has a need. Start running the Havino software, using it. Uh, yeah. and you built will build an unstoppable version of local Monero, essentially. And to, just to be clear, Havi, uh, sorry, local Monero mentioned Havino in their exit um, message, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. they're recommending it too. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Very cool, man. Thank you. I, I really want to make sure we covered this this week. We were just going to mention in the news. I was trying to get some, I was trying to get Woodser to come on. Um, but you know, I don't think he's ready to really talk about it right now. I think he wants to continue to work out some kinks and stuff. Um, he presented at Monerotopia. Great guy, by the way. Um, so we'd we'll love to have him on in the future, but thanks for, for stepping in and, and giving us the whole rundown and great job with, uh, explaining everything too. Yeah, Show thanks for showing us, yeah. and thanks for making the tutorial for making it easier for people to get into that. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, the software is not easy at first, but uh, I'm trying to make it as noob friendly as I could, you know, with this tutorial. So check it out if you guys uh, think it's hard to use, and uh, definitely support Havino Project and Woodser. He definitely is uh, doing the the good work here. <laughs>